Okay, I'm streaming now, and hopefully my audio works. Hopefully everything else works. Wish me luck. Um, yeah. I'm gonna share this in the chat. So, I hope that things are working. They may or may not be. Hmm. That says I'm not live. Oh, no, I am live. Okay, cool. I'm live with zero viewers now. All right. <coughs> well, it doesn't seem to be screwing up this time. So, let's see. Okay, so I promised that I'd show people how to do character creation. The first part of character creation is the most fun part. It's the loading screen, where everything in the entire system gets generated from scratch, which... Uh, I love Daniel, but uh, probably not one of his best design decisions. Um, especially because, yeah, there's there's no way to restart character creation once you've completed it. So um, if you roll a character you don't like and want to start again, you have to do the loading screen all over again. It's so great. 10 out of 10. Game of the year. It's still in early access. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll live. But... Um, yeah. Here I am with you. Oh, wow. Do I have one viewer now? If I do, welcome. Welcome to my personal hell. All right, there we go. So, uh, I said in my last video, which uh, was bugged and nobody could hear, that I used to like carefully, like painstakingly craft my characters. And in fact, like when I first played, I auto generated a character, Sabrina Cardenas. I loved the crap out of her. Every time I played, I would painstakingly recreate her face. And I'm just, I'm just too like tired and old for that crap right now. I just do Gregory G. Guzzle come, and I, you know, keep on hitting randomize until I find a sufficiently non-heterosexual face, and I hit done, because, yeah, I don't have time to lovingly craft crap, especially because the loveless just phase of the game is just too buggy to, like, continuously play using one character for significant periods of time. Like, uh, if you're going to keep playing this thing, uh, inevitably you're going to have to reload. Okay, so uh, never save money. Saving money is crap. Uh, you can get money fairly easily in-game, um, and wasting a literal year of your life to raise, you know, some money. Honestly, I don't even know how much money it is, because I've never done it, because it's pointless. Don't do it. So work on skills. So... I'm going to list to you, for you the skills that you can only get from this screen. Civil engineering, combat action, engineering, construction, uh, software, persuasion, psychology. Of those, literally only software engineering actually does anything from what I understand. Actually, combat engineering uh, increases the speed at which you repair weapons which is such a rare kind of eventuality that it's it's really pointless at this stage in the game. Um, but uh, Persuasion might do something. I just don't know. I, I don't think so. Psychology, I've heard it does something. But the person saying that in the chat over on Discord might have been sarcastic. I don't know. Beats, beats me. But let's just say I want to persuade the people. So I'm going to say Persuasion. 
that's worth a year gambling that it, it might be worth it but yeah other stuff uh robotics yeah uh, that's that you can only get from here i don't think it does anything uh, electrical engineering eva suits and mechanical engineering are all very useful skills you want to have them before you exit character creation but it's not worth three years to do when you can get them in one year using a seek adventure contextual event um so yeah persuasion that's the one we're doing now here is the second most part of character creation uh, most important part pardon me I'm a little going a little fast now because uh first time i did this i <laughs> spoke very slowly <laughs> <laughs> and literally none of it got recorded because the uh, the audio was bugged. But uh, that's life. All right, work on traits. So what you want, more than anything else... Holy crap, it takes three years to get gregarious. I'm, I'm already gregarious. But, um, yeah, no, you want to remove micro-G hypovolemic. Uh, it causes a bunch of debuffs to your character, uh, makes them slower, makes them um, not able to carry as much, not able to heal as fast, and the worst is that it makes you more tired, which means you have to sleep more, and sleeping is a giant pain in the tokus in this game, because um, when you're asleep, you're literally just doing nothing. You're just staring at the screen while you just sit there in real life with your phallus or any other object in your hand just waiting um, for like half an hour for at 16x speed for your character to sleep during which time the game will bug out like in one way or another it'll eventually bug out if you you know sit around at 16x speed because yeah the, the speeds in this game are the things get goofy but yes remove micro g hypervolemic now we're going to seek adventure so, Crackdown, Police Raid. Uh, there are a couple of good options here. Um, have Nothing to Hide is the crappiest. Let's ignore that. Hide in an air vent. It will make you a coward, but it'll give you a stealth skill. Stealth skills do nothing, as far as I understand, so we're not going to do that either. Bluff uh, gives you uh, acting and forgery, which are pretty cool skills, but they do nothing. Literally nothing, so we're not going to do that either. Um, it's gonna we're gonna do fake a pressure alarm to get hacking which is um, the third most important thing in this entire process that you need to get because if you don't get hacking in character generation you might as well just reload you might as well just uninstall the game because hacking is important and also it'll give you genius which as far as I understand the only thing it does is it gives you the ability to reassure someone with logic and that's important because in the game um, characters, NPCs get scared a lot, uh, partially due to certain bugs uh, and certain design decisions. And a lot of times when you're interacting with them, you need them to not be scared. So being able to reassure them with logic is a very helpful thing. So let's see what's next. More adventure. Um, this, the shady deal. So the shady deal is you get approached and you're like, hey, let's do some crimes. You want to do some crimes? Well, um, no, I don't want to do crimes because I don't want to go to prison. Um, so uh, at a certain point, you'll get street smarts. Once you have street smarts, you'll be able to do the crime. And you stand a decent chance of gaining a lot of money, but like probably an equal or greater chance of going to prison, which is really not worth it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna instigate violence instead, which is amazing because number one gives you two melee skills, which is amazing uh, because uh, as a feeble person, you start out as feeble. Oh yeah, well, in case you missed it, let's go back to the top. So um, <laughs> non-circadian, grew up in micro G. This is you. This is your your default character. You know, radiation exposure in childhood. You're feeble. You're fragile. You have a slow metabolism. You you have a, you know low blood supply or something. You're immunosuppressed. You're basically like you basically have AIDS. You basically were born with space AIDS. Uh, you're an insomniac, and you're blind. You're not like blind blind, but you you can't see well. You can't see too good. 
You can barely read. You suck. Um, but yeah, now you are no longer physically easier to harm than most. So I think one of the things in here is fragile or something. I don't know. Yeah, fragile. See? Fragile. That means it's basically low constitution. You fix that by choosing violence. That's why you always choose violence. Violence is the solution. Alright, let's see what's next. Alright, rare salvage. Okay, so if you notify IO, then you get like business administration, which is a skill that does nothing. You might get loyal or follower. Uh, you don't want follower because that uh, is the opposite of leader. You want to be a leader. Leading is important. Um, but uh, yeah, so you uh, you get business administration, um, and yeah, they they briefly consider you for a, you know reward, and they decide like actually yeah here here's a complimentary tote bag or a t-shirt which like you start out with at the beginning of the game which you know the tote bag bag isn't too bad but like yeah uh, we're not gonna do that. Smuggle through the black market gives you like a little bit of money and it gives you an initial relationship with the fence. So if you want to sell black market goods uh, or buy black market goods, that's theoretically helpful, but it's not really worth it either because you could literally just go to the fence and just touch them, lightly touch them, and uh, nod and take deep breaths or burst out laughing. If you converse with them enough, then uh, you'll be their friend anyway, so this is kind of pointless. Uh, bribe your boss and split the profits. This is the good stuff, because it gives you oligarch etiquette, which, to be fair, does nothing. But it also, you know, gives you a little bit of money, and I think a bit more money, and uh, you get a friendly contact. Smash it and feel alive. Uh, it gives you strong, or, or it increases your strength sometimes, or I think most of the time. This is something that's important if you want to make a like pure combat build, which is silly because you're not a combat character. You're a shipbreaker. You're a blue-collar guy. But, uh, yeah, that's a thing. But it'll also make you pessimistic, which is very bad. That's like a permanent, you know, massive debuff on your mood. And uh, you're apparently more likely to go insane. Like, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to bribe the boss. Boom. A little bit of money. Oligarch etiquette, which does nothing. Let's see, what else? 20 Thief, we're getting up there in years, guys. All right, this is literally the most important thing to do in character creation. Get suit maintenance, because that will give you EVA Ops. And EVA Ops is amazing. Um, basically, if you want to do things in the void, then you need to wear an EVA suit. Because a pressure suit uh, doesn't have a continuous supply of oxygen, uh, it's going to suck. It's going to suck if you don't have EVA skill. Because you get a debuff on your speed and other stuff. I think you carry capacity too. Like, you, you don't want to deal with it. You need suit maintenance. It's the most important thing. Um, and this is the only way to get it. Is this specific event, Daily Grind, suit maintenance. Uh, the second time we get Daily Grind, we're going to get second jobs in electrician. Because that'll give us electrical engineering, which is also very helpful. Um, and in case, j j just to make it clear, any of the engineering skills will give you like a 400% bonus on speed for working with most stuff like, uh, I don't know, just basic appliances and walls and floors and crap. But the reason why you definitely want electrical engineering is because when you find a nuclear reactor, this is the skill that makes it actually, makes, makes you able to uninstall it and take it home with you and repair it faster, like four, four times faster than normal people. That's extremely helpful because that is the single best source of income is going onto a ship with a nuclear reactor, repairing it, getting it off the ship, and selling it on the black market. But yeah, first things first, suit maintenance. And we're also skilled in physics, which does nothing. Nothing, I tell you. All right, let me just take a look. And Oh, wow. I have two viewers now. I wonder if I'm a viewer to myself. Oh, 
I love you guys. I love you too, viewers. Thank you. Oh, oh, wow. Now I have zero viewers. Never mind. Eh. Whatever. I'm, I'm recording this. All right. So, uh, uh, Labor Barge Locker. So, there's a crate. You can hack the lock. It gives you hacking skills. But we already have that, don't we? Don't we? Yeah, yeah. We have hacking and genius. We, we don't want to hack the lock. Uh, you can cut a hole in the crate. Literally never do this. It's the worst thing to do in this at all. Because it gives you severe burns and like 200 bucks. Severe burns uh, cannot be gotten rid of in any way. Um, what else about it? Severe burns. Oh, yeah. So uh, later in the game, you can go to a med clinic and get some permanent um, injuries removed. You can't do that with severe burns. And severe burns is bad enough that it will always you will always have pain. Like, so don't don't do that. Uh, your best bets are mislabel the crate or report poor security. So if you mislabel the crate, that will give you leadership and um, criminal etiquette, basically, so, which is good. Poor security gives you business admin, and I think it gives you loyal, which isn't too bad. But for now, we want to mislabel that crate. Street etiquette leader. Okay, we got it. Next up. All right, so we got the uh, crackdown again. So this time we're gonna bluff. It's gonna give us some stealth skill. No, no, some like sneaky, you know, acting, so lying skills, which literally do nothing. But we're gonna do it anyway. Why not? Boom. Let's see. We got all right. Another king incognito. This one. We're gonna start a riot. We're going to make a little bit of money. We're going to get folk etiquette. And folk etiquette literally does nothing. So, but, you know, I, I like to collect skills. Why not? Oh, crap. And we're charismatic, too. Isn't I already charismatic? Oh, that's kind of goofy. All right. All right. Seek adventure. What else we got? Okay. So this is our first, so Jury Rig Engine and Troubleshoot Engine are the only options that don't suck with this. Jury Rig Engine um, gives you mechanical engineering. And if you remember from the training thing, training it normally takes three years. We're not going to do that. We're going to get in one year. Uh, Troubleshoot Engine gives you piloting and money. So the first time we do Jury Rig, second time, every time after that, Troubleshoot Engine. Yeah, and not only do we get mechanical engineering, we get brave and coordinated too, which is nice for combat. All right, so this one this is the gambling. So you have you're, you're playing poker or something, and this ship you get it if you win, but you're not going to win under any circumstances because first you need gambling skill, which you don't have. So to get that, you do column on a technicality. Oh no! Now we're getting older. We're 28. We're middle aged now. We're, we're, half our life has already disappeared and, and we're, we're, we can't hear things. Grandpa can't hear too good. But we got gambling skill and a little bit of money. Alright, next. Okay, so this is the shady deal again. Wait, did we do the shady deal at all? I'm trying to remember. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, yes, we did. And, you know, what do I always tell you kids? Always choose violence. So you have the, the chance to do crimes with these random dudes and maybe make like, you know, $5,000, which, which does sound pretty good. But you know what? Money is crap. You don't want money. You want violence. Instigate violence. And now we're tough. Oh, we got more money too. That's great. Let's see. Let's see what's next. And... We already bribed the boss. Let's smuggle it through the black market now. Boom. All right, and like I told you, first one was EVA apps, now we're gonna be an electrician. So let's just take a moment to review our resume. So we've got brave, genius, charismatic, leader, 
coordinated, patient, and we got tough. Like that's that's pretty. That's not bad, relatively speaking. Like it all. Uh, like all of this sounds like crap, but we're in the post-apocalypse. This is not the end of the world. Like being tough is a lot better than you know most people. All right, so we got acting does nothing, electrical and engineering, mechanical, spaceship. You know these do something. They're they're really good. So this EVA apps. So it's hacking. Um, honestly, and and we have both the armed and unarmed melee skills. And by the way, so I, I don't believe I mentioned this, but <clears throat> so when you start out the game, you're feeble which means your combat damage modifier is 0.25. Each one of these melee skills gives you a plus 0.5 to your damage modifier. And this is a multiplier. So you go from 0.25 to 1.25. You literally multiply your melee damage by 7 by having both of these skills. And even if, you know, it applies to both type types. So... Having unarmed melee gives you a bonus to hitting even with armed melee, and vice versa. So there's that. Persuasion might do something. I don't know. I, I did it anyway. It only took one year. Physics does nothing. Literally nothing. I don't know anything, guys. Whatever. Yeah, forgery. I, I want to forge things, but we'll see. We'll have to see someday if we'll forge stuff. So at this point, you could just seek ship, call it a day... We had a good run. We're only 32. You have less than half of your life ahead of you. But you know what? I'm going to keep on going because I want to get that gambling um, opportunity again. I want to get the pirate ship. That's what I want to do. Let's roll. It's pirate ship time. All right, Lady Brevard's locker. So we already have the thing from mislabeling the crate. Let's report for security. Yes. And we have business admin and loyal. We're good. And we got a tote bag. See, you got a limited edition shoulder bag. Oh, wow. So good to have corporate tchotchkes. All right, so we already have the bluff skills. We already have fake the pressure alarm. Have nothing to hide gives you, I think, honest or arrogant, and maybe like a, a police friend. You, you, screw that. We don't. We don't care about that. Let's hide in an air vent. Let's get some stealth skills. Um, it's gonna make you a coward, but I don't know if that actually affects you. Uh, yeah, you're no longer brave, but you know. Stealth and intrusion may or may not do anything. I literally don't know. I'm, I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy trying to live, yo. All right, so we already started right. We already seduced them. We already got stealth skills, uh, so we don't need to pick their pockets. We can get them drunk and get the song skill, but then we'll be slovenly. Let's just mug them. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. Oh, Wow. I, I we we got we, we lost feeble oh and we went to and we went to prison too oh man oh that sucks so we're age 34 oh we're no longer patient we've got scars now we made a bunch of friends in prison oh man what else happened oh wow we got skilled in ranged gunpowder weapons holy crap that's that's pretty dope yeah, what was that? Like, was that, was that a year of our life? Several years of our life? Wow. Yeah, that sucked. But yeah, ranged gunpowder weapons. That's not bad. I've, I've never actually gotten a ranged gunpowder weapons as a skill before. That's that's pretty dope. All right, let's see. So um, let's trebuchet the engine, and we'll get piloting skill and a little bit of money. All right. Now we're about to enter old age. Okay, all right. So here's the thing: we're gonna we're gonna be able to call the guys bluff for the poker game to get the super awesome ship. Uh, and we lost. We lost. See, boom. We lost all of our money. We're now 
I'm broke. You're broke. You're old. You're a loser. Everything about you sucks. You know what? You might as well join the scheme with your street smarts and see, like, if crime pays. Is crime going to pay? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You're going to prison again. You're going right back to prison. And I was, so we're age 39. How much, how much time in the break? Oh, shoot. We, four years. Four years in prison. Holy crap. Well, I think we only have like one more year of adventuring left. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. All right, all right. So we've got the thing where you get the Miura intake regulator. So this is like a part that's worth like 30, 40, 50 grand. Let's just, let's do it. Let's take it for ourselves because we have nothing else going for us. I mean, we got to got a lot of skills, but you're old. You're, you have permanent vision. Weak immune system, physically weak. Yeah, so you had that strength boost. It's gone now. And you, you, we're not tough anymore either. Oh, because, yeah, as you get older, you know, you get crappier and crappier. Let's take it for ourselves. Oh, and we got caught again. We're going to prison for the third time. Oh, man, you ruined your life. Young man. Now we're 46. What are you going to do at age 46? And you got scars. You got scars all over. You know, you can go ship spotting. Because that'll give you the sensor skill. Which, you know what? Does literally nothing. We're going to do it anyway. Boom. And, yeah. There, there, we, we did it, boys. We did it. Um, it'll make you complacent. So, yeah, you're, you're basically, you're, you're a pothead. You have, you have no motivation. You're porn sick. Like, just sitting on the couch, smoking weed, you don't... Oh, shoot. Never mind. We ignore that I said that. Drugs are bad, okay? Uh, you have sensor op skills, and you're shy now. I'm pretty sure Scott shy is a debuff that sucks in the game for social interactions, but I've, I've never actually tried playing that way. Because, you know, I like to not suck, and I told you guys... This is how you not suck at the game. Oh crap, you can still do more adventure. We're almost 50. You're like eight years away from life expectancy. Let's mislabel the crate again. Sweet. Okay. And in that gate, I made a couple friends. That's it. <laughs> All right, let's see what, what kind of ship. All right, and we just get like a basic ship. It's not a bad salvage bot. It's, it costs you nearly a million dollars. Like, look at this. This is you. You have to, by the end of the shift, come up with two grand in order to just make your freaking mortgage payment. But we're going to take the ship because there's nothing else we can do. So, so I told you how not to suck, but I sucked anyway. But, eh, like I said, I'm just showing you through the whole darn thing. But, here's the best part. So I'm going to quit out of this joint. I'm not going to save. You know why? Because I already did character creation in a way that didn't suck. And I did basically what I told you I wanted, which was I risked it all and I got that super sexy pirate ship. Um, because this is my second stream ever, and I literally, I don't know if anybody can hear what I'm saying. I don't know if the audio is working. I don't know anything. I'm, I'm just going to shut this crap down and... Depending on if things recorded successfully, I will try this again. And uh, next one, we'll have a not suck at actually playing the game with actual gameplay. All right. Thanks a million beautiful people. Um, let's remember, uh, communists are not people. They're technically vegetables. Viva Cristo Rey.